look at left to right addition. And this is different from the long addition algorithm you might know. Typically, what we do is what? Well, if we see a problem like this, which says 46 plus 23, first we add 6 and 3, and say that's 9, and then we add 4 and 2, and say it's 6, and we're done. But why do that when we can add left first and then right? Well, part of it is tradition. Part of it is also building up on detail. But here, we're going to talk about the advantages of going from left to right. Now, if we look at this sum right here with 46 and 23, it makes more sense, I think, to add the larger parts of the numbers first. So maybe to add the 4 and the 2 to get 6, and then the 6 and 3 to get 9. Why? Because first of all, we're adding the larger parts of the numbers. So even if we get the second part wrong, we still get a good sense of the estimate of the answer. So we're really saying 40 and 20 is already 60, and then another 6 and 3 is above 60. So before we even know what the answer is, we know it's definitely going to be around 60. If we reversed it and did 6 and 3 first, all we know when we start is that there's going to be a 9. We don't know about the rest of the number. So how do you do this quickly and, and how do you do this mentally? Well, one way to think about this is to think, okay, 46 plus 23 is really, really like 46 plus 20, and then that plus 3. So we break 23 apart into 20 and 3. So 46 and 20 becomes 66. And then all we have to do is add 3 more. So 66 plus 3 is 69. So in fact, what we're adding here, we go from left to right, and can think of and break apart our second number into two groups. Here, 68 and 28, let's break apart 28 into 20 and 8. So now, we're going to add 68 to 20, and then add that total to 8. So what's 68 and 20? Well, that's 88. And then, 8 more is 96. And in fact, you can think about this mentally as well. Right? 68 plus 20 is 88, and then 8 more is 96. And last over here, we have 76 and, and 83. Well, think of 76 plus, well, split this number up into 80. 76 plus 80. We'll think of 7 and 8 is 15, so this is 156. And then we'll have to add 3 more. Right? So 156 plus 3 is 159. And realize it or not, but especially here in this middle one, what we did was we, we carried here. 68 and 28, we, we did carry, except you might not have felt that way because really what we did was 68 and 28, we, we, we solved this as, oops, 68 plus 20, which equals 88. And then we took 88 and added 8 more to get 96. And I like this algorithm because, again, it pays attention to the largest digits first, the 60 and 20, before we talk about the smaller digits. Doesn't it make sense to start with what, what matters most first? But, but not only that, but it also helps us to visualize the answer. You can almost see the answer in your head when you think of 68 and 28 as 68 plus 20, and then that sum plus 8 can break it apart. So in the next video or so we'll 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 look at some more examples of this. Thanks.